So, Ebby's decided she's gonna have her babies in the closet. I already fixed all this stuff about a million times. She keeps going in there. So when I first went in, she was actually in this bin. Yeah. So I moved the bin with all the contents that she knocked over. So she could at least walk through there, but she knocked it over and made herself something. So I'm just gonna leave the closet doors open because she just keeps scratching them to get in there. You're so silly, mama. You're silly, mama. Yes, you don't come out and sit with mommy. So she waits till I have to go to the bathroom or get a coffee before she does this. <clears throat> but she feels secure in there, I guess. Uh, she's so funny. But I did have this room pretty well picked up. I had all the towels piled for our natural birth. She just scattered them everywhere. <laughs> I got the basket ready for the puppies to go in. These are good waterproof um, birthing pads, but right now we're in pre-labor, so it's kind of just waiting. We're just waiting. Huh. So I originally had her due for Sunday, but um, she's still within the normal range of having the puppies, because the bigger the litter, they usually don't go the full term. They'll go a couple days early, but she's still, the puppies should be for, <clears throat> born fine. So, and I did get a chance to check Nala this morning. I checked on her baby. Her baby's moving and alive in her belly. Um, she was due last Sunday, and it's basically four days over. So, <clears throat> um, your eyes are drooping. You're so die, your baby girl. So, we've been up since four this morning with the off and on. Um, laboring and this is normal this can go on for hours so um, Ebby is a long whelper because she normally has big litters so um, she her water hasn't broke or anything yet normally the water breaks and then the things really start moving but they will pant off and on they'll shiver um, that's all part of natural birth and if I can have it natural, I prefer to than doing C-section. C-section's a major surgery, whether it being humans or or canines. So we avoid that. And Ebby is a great whelper. She takes a long time because she has a lot of puppies, but she does fantastic on her own with my help. I don't know if she needs my help, but I've helped her every step of the way. And that's Fiona in the hallway barking because she's nosy Nelly and wants to see what's going on. She's got Nala in the other whelping room <clears throat> because Ebby's in active labor and Nala is not. So Nala went into our other whelping room that has a smaller um, whelping box and Ebby's in the big one. This is where Ebby was going to be um, anyway. But I had Nala in here thinking Nala was going to have her puppies first, but I didn't plan on Ebby going first. Come on, mommy. Oh, 
what a precious little baby. Oh my goodness, you have a sweet baby. Oh, is it cute? Okay, I'm gonna wipe it up for you a little bit for you. Let's double check that. Good girl, Abby. Good job. Watch out, Mama. Let me clean her up for a little bit for you. Let me get this off because I don't need you to cut it too short. Here you go. Here you go, Mama. Here, right there. Welcome. Happy birthday. Oh, little white paws. Let's get a squawk out of her. Or him. You did it, Mama. I knew you would. Oh, this one's a pretty one. She's got a little white tip tail. Yes, what a beautiful baby you have. Yes. Good girl. Good girl, Mama. It is a little boy. <laughs> a little boy. He's cute. Can I suck out his nose a little bit more? Will you work on him? There we go. Long journey here, buddy. Aren't you beautiful? Aren't you beautiful? Isn't he beautiful, Mama? Oh, she's over the moon with her baby. Good job. Good job, Abigail. Little boy. And he's really cute. He's got like a little white spot on the back of his neck. Aren't you sweet? Well, we just had puppy number two that quickly. A little boy, little black boy. He doesn't have as many, I don't know if he has any white markings, but he's already eating. I knew they'd be coming fast once they started coming. Oh, he's like all black. What a beauty. Oh, you're so sweet. Two little boys so far. Number two. I guess he does have white on him. Oh, you are precious. He's a little bit long. You guys have long babies, mama? I just want to eat. There you go, baby boy. Little baby boy. <laughs> She's basically loving up on her babies. While she works on number three, here's her two boys. <laughs> as soon as they get on the tee, she starts licking them off, the poor little guys. But they're doing good. Both watching very nicely. She's working on number three. If she can stop licking them up. <laughs> she loves them though, aren't they cute? So puppy three has arrived. It's a little Meryl girl split faced. She's very cute. Um, it was a huge two over two hours between those two and her. Um, Abby had a lot of um, water sacks for some reason. She's had three and then she had three in the beginning and then two in between number two and herself and she just delivered another water sack so I'm not sure why she has so many water sacks but this is puppy number four coming down and there is a puppy in there I felt it um, so we'll see but it's weird how she has so many water sacks um, they're just like clear fluid like so like and it takes her so long to get those water sacks out because the thing is, it's just water, so it when she stops pushing, it literally goes back up. So she's got to push and push to try to get it out. Where a puppy has kind of like gravity, and it'll actually slide. So she's pushing out puppy number four right now. But I've never seen so many water sacks. Um, I guess we'll see what puppy number four is. So we have two boys and one girl so far. Kind of graphic. You'll see like a bulge up here. There's the bulge, so the puppy's coming. So number four was a little boy. So three boys and one girl. He's black with white markings. Mommy's cleaning everybody up again. There he is. This is him. Let's see. Little face. Ain't he cute? 
<laughs> it's so cute. Yes, you have some beautiful babies. So we're up to four. Hi, Nala. How are you feeling? So I actually think Nala is in labor too. Yep, lucky me. She's been panting off and on all day. Um, I did see some liquid on her bedding and she's had a lot of discharge. I have been checking her uh, back and forth and keeping an eye on her. We're actually across the hall, so I can actually just stand in the doorway and see her, what she's doing. And um, so she's in the smaller whelping area. And I had to cut this down because she hates high. She doesn't like to jump over it. So I did that today while we were waiting on Ebby. But I've been keeping a close eye on her. Uh, I would be happy if she has hers tonight too, just cause she's due. So we'll see. So since she just had baby number four, which is this little boy, a lot of little boys, three boys and one girl so far. I don't know why she's hiding all those girls he's at. Uh, she acts like I picked him up so she could uh, torture him some more. Yeah, your mommy's crazy. Got something coming down the pike. All right. He's hunting poor little shrimp. <laughs> Try to keep him covered while she's working on a next puppy just because they're already I mean there's really no way to keep them dry right now because it's so messy having a natural birth but I try my best to keep them on a dry blanket and cover them up our house is warm I'm probably my cheeks are flush those little toes oh, mommy so she's still got a belly on her so she close to being done huh Abigail him. <laughs> the little girl it, uh, is a split face. She's down there. Look at this guy. He's the oldest. He's a tank. He's been eating since he got on. Since he came up, came out of the womb. Fuzzy. I don't know if it's fuzzy or you can see me because of the glare of my glasses. Aww. We just had puppy number five, who was another boy. So it was a Merrill boy. So we have three boys and one little girl so far. I'm waiting for puppy number six. She still has a belly on her, so she's not done. Um, in between um, having helping her deliver and checking on Nala, because I think Nala's in labor too, I've also had to run downstairs, start some laundry, let my big guys out because I am here alone. Um, my husband had to work and um, I didn't have anybody to help. So of course, Ebby's decided to start kicking out number six, <laughs> um, but we're doing good. I think she realizes when I leave the room to just wait <laughs> and she's really good about like starting back up when I get here because I got to let my little guys out. Uh, my son was here to help a little bit, but um, you know, he works full time. So it's, it's, it's now midnight and we're still laboring puppies. It always um, is this way for Abby. She has um, big litters and takes a long time. Um, so the story about her birth, her, the start of her birth, I'm getting delirious now. Um, about four, four o'clock this morning, I heard her barking. I was like, hmm, I wonder, because sometimes she will bark if she's hungry or if she's got to go potty. So I, I pulled up my um, security cameras and was looking at it from my bed, and I saw her kind of fidgeting with her back end. So I was like, hmm. Well, I'll go see if she's going to go potty. So I went in and I let her out and she went right downstairs. And normally she'll go to the door. She knows the drill where to go potty, but she went right behind my um, chair in the living room to hide. So that was like a huge indication that she's ready to have her puppies. So I was like, okay, um, I did expect not only to go first, but this works too. So I got her... Back upstairs, I got Ebby moved in. I got 
Oh, Nala moved into the smaller whelping room and I got Ebby in the big one. Ebby knows what it's all about. She comes right in, she knows. So that was like four o'clock this morning. Um, I normally do get up pretty early when I go to work. Um, I work only a few days a week, but um, so fortunately today was one of my days off. So that worked out nice. Um, and um, I normally get up pretty early anyway for my job, but um, so I got up at four and I've been up since four. I normally also go to bed at eight o'clock because I do get up so early, but um, I almost think it's adrenaline that just keeps you kind of going um, when you're in whelping. And right now she's kind of snoozing a little bit with her babies and then she'll start pushing and she's getting, she's, she's, she's a very good whelper, but she's a long whelper too. So we'll probably be here for, to the wee hours of the morning, um, whelping the rest of her puppies. So between one and two worked really quickly, but between number puppy number two and puppy number three, it was like over two hours. Um, what I did notice is that she has a lot of sacks with water, water sacks, not puppies in them. So I'm like, those are so hard for her to push out because they, it's only water, so you're pushing, and then when you let go, it tends to go back. So she really had to work hard. So before the boys were born, the first two boys, she had like three water sacks. And then she had the boys, and then before she had the little girl, she had two more water sacks. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, Abby, how much water do you have in there? But, um, so, I mean, you, when I physically check her, you can tell uh, a water sack and versus feeling a solid puppy. Even if the puppy's in the sack, you can still feel bone solid. So, and so far, they've all been about the same size, which is just unusual for Abby also. Usually she has some littles and some really big ones, but we're not done yet, so um, I won't say for sure if we got any little ones, but so far we have three boys, no, four boys and one girl, so I'm hoping there's more girls in there. We happen to have more people on this list this time, four girls. Last time we wanted boys, so um, it always works out in the end. Um, these puppies, I would, safe to say, all have homes, too. Uh, I'd still have to go down my, like, reserve list and double check, but, um, uh, most of these people that have been on the list waiting for these puppies, so they're super excited, and it's gonna be a while for me to get my rest, make sure Ebby has something good to eat, and before I can do, like, go down our, our waiting list, deposit list, so, but I usually do that within a few, the first few days, um, depending how hectic it is. I'm still waiting for Nala to deliver that puppy. She's been panting off and on all day. She's had a lot of discharge. Um, so, fingers crossed, she has it on her own and I do not have to intervene. I don't want to. She's a good whelper. That's why I chose to let her try it on her own versus a C-section. I've tried C-sections. They never seem to work for singletons. I don't have a reason, rhyme or reason why, but my experience is I haven't. So I'm thinking it's a 50-50 chance. So I'd rather just have her try to have it. She's a great whelper and she's a great mom. So we'll see. And I told her, you can have them tonight if you want. I'm already up. I'm already exhausted. So uh, look at Abby, just watch her babies. She's just watching her baby. She is getting ready to push out another either water sack or baby. I have to check, but her little babies are super cute. Look at this little, that's the little boy up there. The little girl's right next to her. So let me see what she's got going on. Guess who's in labor? Nala is. Yeah water broke and she's starting to push i'm so excited i did check the baby the baby's still alive so i'm hoping we get him out in time and everything goes well 
Yeah, that's what we're hoping for. Her beautiful. It's been a long night. Good girl. She's on my lap. You're so sweet. Nala did it. She broke our bad record of never having any singletons. Her singleton is born, it's a girl, it's alive, and she is gorgeous. Um, I'm gonna wait till she dries to really uh, call out her color, but she has like a split face. She's very pretty. Nala did awesome. Yes, you did awesome, Mama. So proud of you and that little baby of yours. So, it is the next day. Um, and the puppies are here. So, this is Eddie, little baby. She ended up having seven. Um, little boy. Little boy, girl, boy, boy, <laughs> boy. So we ended up with six. One was born um, in a weird sack. I got and taken on too much water. This is a little girl, isn't she cute? She's got a black ear and a, like a split face. Oh yeah, I'll hold it for you. No problem. No problem, mom. This guy, every time I see, no, yeah, every time I see him, he's the oldest, he's on eating. He's a big eater. So, <clears throat> Abby did really well. I actually thought she had more puppies than what she had because, um, like I said prior, she had so many sacks of water and that has to take up space. So, I think that's what it was. But, we whelped them all by herself. I took out the ultrasound and checked. The babies were done. And then I moved over and Nala was ready to give birth. What a what a night. Um, I'm glad it worked out the way it did. But these are all her babies. I'm going to put collars on them today and then start letting people see them. Um, <laughs> so she did have another little boy, a Meryl, that he's the one that didn't make it. So we have a place here that we bury uh, any little angels or that don't make it. So. so this is Nala. She's doing very good. And this is her little baby. She's taking a snooze on her mummy. Bye. Isn't she sweet? <laughs> but they... Um, uh, Nala's still like panting a lot. Same with Ebby. That's just their uterus contracting back after having their kiddos or their baby. But Nala's doing good. Um, she seems a little restless. Um, I think only having one is a little different than having, that's why they don't really even consider one puppy a litter. It's really not, but it's still her baby and she's doing everything that baby needs she's properly taking care of her and when she's not taking care of that baby she's taking care of this baby she's been carrying this around with her I know she's right here um, I don't know if it's why but she has been and I let her I don't care she takes it downstairs when she goes potty oh we're gonna get out okay I know it's kind of warm in here watch out for your baby so she'll get up She's going to get a drink of water, but it's <clears throat> hi, little lady. She actually always has a full belly. She's always eating with her mama, and it's funny. I'll hold her like this, and she'll start smelling like you're not my mama. You're not my mama. Oh, I know. I'm not. She's like sniffing right now. She's so pretty. She's so light too, like platinum. And you can barely see the white ring around her neck like a mantle has. She has one, it's very thin. She does have a white tip tail and white paws. And part of her face is pretty white. It's very unique, the color she is. But her and her mama are doing good. 
I do have a basket I can put her in and when Nala goes outside, but um, she's been doing good. He's, oh, she said, where did you go, lady? Hey, hey, little baby. Hey, little baby. Are you trying to get on me? Oh, she must have just been eating. She's <laughs> Your mama's just getting a drink. Yeah, your mama's just getting a drink. Oh, yes. 